why would you still buy a Ford Mondeo? Plenty used to. Back in 1995, it was Britain's third best-selling car. These days, though, the medium-range D segment this car competes in is very different, pillaged first by people carriers and then by SUVs. Many of the customers that remain would prefer a premium badge on the bonnet. Yet, the Mondeo's still here. Large, comfortable and accommodating in the estate and hatch versions of a fourth generation guise that's now been significantly improved, especially in its frugal hybrid form. Let's take a look. The Mondeo has always been a car with a very advanced set of driving dynamics, sophisticated enough to be involving only when you want it to be. You could say it still is, though you'd also have to qualify that statement by referencing the way that in fourth generation form, this Ford has grown up, becoming a little more mature, slightly softer edged and a whole lot more refined. For the improved version of this fourth generation model, Ford has introduced a more efficient and responsive 2 litre EcoBlue diesel unit, which is offered in 150 and 190 PS guises and is the only engine in the range to get the brand's latest, smoother 8 speed auto gearbox. If you choose the 190 PS model, you'll be offered the option of the brand's clever, intelligent all wheel drive system, too. The petrol units continue on with the older six-speed auto. There's also a manual gearbox option with the base 1.5 litre EcoBoost 165 PS power plant. Ford thinks most petrol Mondeos will be fitted out with a self-charging hybrid engine we've chosen to try today. Here, a two litre TI VCT petrol unit is mated to an 88 kilowatt electric motor and a 1.4 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery that both sit at the back of the car but drive the front wheels via a power split six speed automatic transmission. That also box decides at any given time where the power should come from the engine, the electric motor, both at once or neither. The whole setup isn't especially responsive to your right foot, which rather dilutes this Ford's inherently engineered sense of driving pleasure. But it is quite economical if driven with restraint, returning up to 52.3 mpg on the WLTP combined cycle and up to 98 grams per kilometre of CO2. If there's one thing that's defined Mondeo design over the years, it's that it's become bigger and more upmarket with each passing generation. This current fourth generation CD391 series design is no exception to that rule of evolution, but needed an extra layer of polish to justify the sums being asked for plusher variants like this one. And that's been applied as part of the revisions made here. As ever, the range is primarily built around two body styles, this estate or a five-door hatch. Opt for the hybrid engine we're trying here, and your choice is between this estate or a four-door saloon. On to the details of this Ford's exterior design, starting here at the front, where four smart crease lines sweep down the power dome bonnet into a trapezoidal front grille that now varies in style based on the trim level you've chosen. The design of the lower grille has been refreshed too and blends into redesigned fog lamp surrounds. These have required a slightly more sculpted bumper design that incorporates this more pronounced lower lip spoiler. If this... Behind the wheel, detailed changes have been made to trim and dashboard architecture. Plus, automatic versions of conventional models now feature a circular gear selector. Otherwise, things are much as they were when we first tested this Mark IV Mondeo back in 2014. Ford has struggled to differentiate European spec examples of this model from the bargain basement trimmed versions of it that sell in the US. And these humbler origins are evident in places, even in the leather lined top spec Vignale variant we're testing here. But it's difficult to fault the exemplary cabin ergonomics. Everything falls perfectly to hand and there's an ideal driving position with lots of seat and wheel adjustment. Various different instrument binnacle displays are offered. This hybrid version features twin 4.2 inch screens either side of a central speedo. Anything else you need to know will be covered off by this 8 inch central SYNC 3 infotainment monitor which delivers the usual audio, navigation and smartphone mirroring options. Plus it can deal with climate settings too. 
New Mondeos may be a relative rarity these days, but this one's still well worth your attention. We're not sure that the package of facelift updates applied to this CD391 series model have done very much to advance its cause. And you've got to be a very specific kind of buyer to want to consider the hybrid engine. But EcoBlue diesel technology has brought the running cost return to the black pump fuel variants back up to class standards. And this car is back on the pace in terms of safety and technology too. Value is, as it always was, a Mondeo strong point across the range. We think a variant fitted with the 2-litre EcoBlue 150 PS diesel engine would best emphasise that attribute. In summary, the bottom line is that the Mondeo has evolved. It's grown up a bit, but it still has plenty to offer. <laughs>